humans, I have to say, have a strange relationship with reality and therefore an absurd need for something they call morality. Morality, I hear them say, is the study and practice of morals. Morals, as I understand it, are sort of guiding principles for behavior that keeps these creatures from destroying one another and themselves. In spite of sounding rather lofty and abstract when they go on about it all, that is basically what it comes down to from the perspective of this cat. Whether I am laying in bed with my people, laying in the grass outside, or sitting high up in one of my trees, my view of human morality is that it is rather like an overcoat. It is a thing that is worn when necessary and suitable. When it becomes uncomfortable, it can be discreetly removed and hung in the hallway closet or the bedroom wardrobe. You know it is there for those times you need it, but otherwise give it very little thought. Some wear a bright and ostentatious overcoat, as if to say, yes, I value the overcoat and have much invested in it. You can see it is well-crafted and of superior quality. Others wear a simple and non-assuming overcoat, sufficient to the conditions demanding its use. Still others may wear one worn to tatters with hard experience. But, in spite of its condition and in spite of its frequent neglect, it is probably better to have an overcoat than not. There are some humans who do not have an overcoat, that is to say, morals, and those humans scare me a great deal. They are disconcerting in the same way an individual wearing a winter coat in summer is disconcerting. You know, they are out of sync with their environment and their internal regulating system for homeostasis has failed them. In this same way, an amoral human is out of sync with nature and evolution. 